What's going on guys? I just want to do a quick tutorial on what we do to put graphics down on a vehicle, especially in a spot where we have a door seam like this right here. I have already tried to set it up to make sure this letter O and this letter P do not land in the seam. This way you don't have these small letters dropping in there to make it more legible. I've already got it measured up. Got some registration marks on either side here. And then we also have this center hinge here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and cut these here. This is where it gets to be really tricky. You need to have a really steady, soft hand and a sharp, sharp blade. Um, make sure that you're only cutting the tape and not the client's vehicle. So we're gonna use these uh, corner pieces over here. You'll see those and then here you'll see these for the registration marks. We'll pull that, cut the paper back and then drop that back into place as you'll see here. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, we'll cut real soft, making sure to only cut the tape here and here, and then we'll roll this back. And once we do here, we pull the backing paper off gently, making sure that you don't miss any letters or dots to the eyes or anything like that. So we'll get this all the way up to the hinge, which is that center piece there. And then I take and use the transfer tape and stick it to the car so I can pull it off and cut that down. What we'll do is slide that under the vehicle so I don't step on it and slip. And we take, this is air regress vinyl here, so it's, it's, it's good stuff here. So, and then we take and then we register these right into place. See, we got the registration back up in here. So now we go through and we make sure we stick this stuff down. It's a little windy today, so you can probably hear my paper running around. We just squeegee nice and easy up and down and across. I like using a felt buffer on my squeegee helps go really smooth, doesn't snag as much on anything. And then what we can do is we can pull the center registration mark and then we need to go back and cut these, or center hinge, and then cut these registration marks. So what I'll do is I'll get this one ready. And again, very, very gentle because you don't want to cut the paint. Very sharp knife. See, I cut a little too gentle on that one. I'd rather do that than cut the client's car. So there's that. And then this one here. There's that. Put my knife in my pocket. Get this bent back here. And we can start peeling the backing paper off on this side here. Again, making sure that you don't drop any letters on the backing paper you want to make sure everything's still on the transfer tape. So like I said, it's still windy out here, so these can be a little tough. I wouldn't be doing it outside if it was, if it was any more windy than today. But you just make sure that you line up these registration marks. Bam and bam. And then you come back in, right back from the center and squeegee. Top to bottom is the way I like to go on something like this. Sometimes you need to go left or right but this one is narrow and wide, so I like to go top to bottom and work any wrinkles out that way. So we'll pop these down, drop everything into place here. That's one piece. Get these down, drop that down. And we've got everything lined up and you can see in this line here, that we avoided getting that O. The O will drop in just a little bit and the P landed just on the corner there. So what we do now is we pull off these registration marks on both sides, stick them on paper, and then we can start pulling this transfer tape off here. And you can see everything. Oh, see some of it doesn't. When it's cold outside, some of it likes to lift up. So you gotta watch that when you're picking these things up. This should be like one of those oddly satisfying videos. 
when you see something go from complete blank vehicle to somebody's commercial ride. Almost done getting this transfer tape off. Once we do that, let's stick that paper behind me. Here we go. And you can see I let this line up so where see I got this little O here. It just drops in just a tad so you can still see the whole letter. Really the only thing I have is this one little piece of green in the middle of the door. Now with that, again we make sure we have a sharp blade. You can snap one off if you need to. And then when you come inside this door, you want to make sure you angle inside this way. And the reason you do that is you leave more material on this side here, which goes further in the crack, which when you're looking at the car from this way, doesn't look like there's any gap. So get in here like this, right behind the door and just smooth knife cut. Then you can pop the door open, run your finger over this edge, smooth it out on that side. And then on the inside of this edge here, smooth it out. And then there you go. And then like I was saying, when you look at the vehicle from this side, there's no white gap going this way. So that's just a quick rundown on how you take care of doing a door graphic that has a door seam in the middle. Thank you guys for watching.